Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here and welcome to the unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy J7 2017. So as you can see from the box, mine does say Samsung Galaxy J7 V. This is just the Verizon version of the device, but across the board for Boost Mobile, Sprint, and Virgin Mobile specs is going to be the same. Now also there are going to be slight difference in pricing and also the color of the device. So let me go ahead and open up the box and you can see the J7 2017 nestled nicely up on top. Now also, like I mentioned, the colors are going to vary. So Verizon has the uh, light silver colored version of the J7 and I believe Boost Mobile is going to have the darker silver uh, Samsung Galaxy J7 2017. But there you go, uh, there's the device all packaged nicely in plastic. I'm gonna put that to the side and see what else comes in the box. So on the uh, J7 2017 for Verizon, you do get this little pamphlet, meet your phone. I'm just gonna place that off to the side for now. And you also get your travel adapter there. So you got some Samsung branding up on top and uh, just looks like your standard wall brick there. Also included is your USB data cable. So there is no type C on this device, just your standard micro USB data cable. And this device is being shipped with a 3,300 milliamp removable battery. So I love the battery size in this and the fact that it's removable. So 3,300 is a pretty nice size of a battery. So let's get to the device itself here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from this plastic sleeve. And you can also notice there is a uh, pre-installed screen protector. Didn't look like they did a very good job. I can see some bubbles on it there. Um, taking a look at the right-hand side of the device, you'll see the speaker placement there up on top. So you're getting that side firing speaker the power button right below that and then working your way to the bottom is the headphone jack your charging port and a mic as well and moving to the left hand side of the device you'll see you have your volume rockers there um, they seem to be positioned okay maybe a little high i'll have to test that out and then taking a look up on top of the device all you have there is a noise cancellation mic and that's about it so all right let's go ahead and take a look at the back now so in the back there you are getting a 8 megapixel rear facing camera with flash um, you got this kind of two-tone silver color to the back there mine does have Verizon branding and working your way to the bottom you got Galaxy J7 uh, branding on the bottom as well. Now this back does feel very nice. It's not picking up any type of fingerprints or oils off my skin. And this back is removable. So as you can see, um, it looks like only half of the back is removable, but that's just the way it is designed with that back cover there. So, um, you know, it's pretty nice. It is removable, which is going to give you access to your SIM card and your micro SD card for expandable store, which is also expandable up to 256 gigabytes. So that's pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that large 3,300 milliamp battery. And that's something I'm really going to be testing out in my full review is just how good this battery is, how much screen and time I'll be uh, getting with this device so I'll be definitely letting you guys know in the full review let me go ahead and snap the back cover back on and uh, wow so this device definitely reminds me more of the Samsung Galaxy J3 Emerge I reviewed that phone a couple weeks back uh, it definitely resembles it a whole lot so um, you're looking at a 5.5 inch display here now this is not going to be AMOLED this is going to be a LCD uh, display here so just keep that in mind. Um, you got capacitive buttons on the bottom there, five megapixel front facing camera. So I'm gonna get this device all set up, ready to go, and then I'll uh, navigate you guys around and just show you some more features on the Galaxy J7 2017. All right, so I am back and um, got it all set up. So you got some options. You can power the device on just on the right hand side power button, or you can use the home button to unlock the lock screen got access to your dialer from the lock screen as well as your camera go ahead and slide to unlock and yeah very nice looking display even though this is not super AMOLED it is a very very nice looking display um, nice you know feel in the hand with this device doesn't feel very heavy anything like that you got your Google folder there with Gmail maps YouTube Drive um, just to name a few you can also 
customize the folder color, and then you can add some additional apps if you wish. All right, so let's go ahead and see what else is pre-installed on this device. So you do have S Health on that. You got Galaxy Essentials uh, widget up on top. And then of course my device is Verizon. So I get all that lovely Verizon bloatware. Holding down on the home screen does get you wallpapers and themes, widgets, and then you can also change the screen grid size. So that's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and jump into the app drawer here. And you have the option to search for specific applications within the app drawer. And then you can also do a uh, voice search. And then you can also edit these or you can sort these out. So as you can see, there are some pre-installed games. Let's see if I can uninstall one of these that I'm probably never gonna play. So let's go ahead and go to uninstall. And yeah, so you're able to uninstall some of those pre-installed games. So pulling down the status bar there, the drop down menu, um, you got access to your quick toggles there, which you can edit. So you got Wi-Fi rotation, um, quite a bit to choose from there. So let's go ahead and jump into settings here. Because one thing I am looking for is, does this device have NFC? Will it support Android Pay? Let's go ahead and jump into more. And it doesn't appear like there's going to be any NFC. Again, NFC is not a big deal for me, but I know there are some people out there that really like that feature. Um, so let's go ahead and move on from there. So you got sounds and vibrations, notifications, jump into display there. Uh, you got outdoor mode, so you should get some very good outdoor visibility with this. You can also change the icon. So with icons only or icons with frame. So that's pretty nice. And let's go ahead and exit out of there. And then you got wallpapers and themes, um, advanced features. So let's go ahead and check that out. So you got some one handed um, features there, uh, quick launch of the camera, multi window, smart alert. So you got a couple uh, advanced features there to choose from. And let's see what else we got. So let's jump into storage now. So this device does have 16 gigabytes of internal storage. You're also getting that micro SD card for expandable storage. So 16 is what you're getting with this device. As you can see there, I've used 7.8 gigabytes out of the 16. So um, let's go into battery. So you do got some very good battery um, saving features here, power saver mode. Um, as you can see, so that is um, should help with that 3300 milliamp battery. Should be getting some good uh, battery life. I'll let you guys know in the full review for sure. And your security features are going to be swipe, pattern, pin, and password. Unfortunately, no fingerprint sensor on this device. So I was definitely hoping there would have been a fingerprint sensor, but there's not. And let's go ahead and scroll further down and go to about phone. And this does have February 1st security patch and as well as Android 7.0 Nougat out of the box. So that's pretty nice. All the great Nougat features. One thing I did notice here on the capacitive buttons, they do not light up. So just keep that in mind as well. Let's go ahead and jump into the camera now. Uh, again, you're getting an eight megapixel rear facing camera with flash, and then you're also getting a five megapixel front facing camera. So let's go ahead and just show you the camera interface here real quick. Take a couple photos. Um, you do have the Grace UI on this, so you also have some additional features. You got auto, pro mode, um, night mode, manual mode as well. And then you got your different filters to choose from, just from swiping on the display there in the camera. So that's pretty nice. Let's go into the camera settings here. So let's see video size. So you are going to be able to record in 1080p resolution, full HD, which is nice. Um, and the same with the front facing camera. You got some different ways to take a photo, tap to take a picture. They also got gesture control as well. Um, timer, grid lines, location tags. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely go into more detail in the full review regarding uh, the camera. So let's go ahead and jump into YouTube real quick. And then I'll show you the highest resolution you are able to watch a YouTube video in. I know there was some question, is the J7 2017 going to be a 1080p display? Or is it going to be the 720p um, like last year? So um, let's go ahead and jump into resolution here, the quality. So the highest quality you're going to be able to watch is going to be 720p at 60 frames per second. So unfortunately, this is not a 1080p display. It's only 720p, but it is a very nice looking 720p display. It's going to save on the battery um, with it not pushing so many pixels. And you got that side firing speaker, which in my opinion is way better than a back firing speaker. So 
that's basically it this is the samsung galaxy j7 2017 again across the board on uh, boost mobile sprint version is going to be pretty much the same specs maybe different color and pricing will vary as well um, this is a 2.2 gigahertz qualcomm snapdragon 625 you get two gigabytes of ram 16 gigabytes of rom and um, yeah overall a very very nice looking sleek design here definitely like it um, but it definitely resembles more of the J3 Emerge more than anything else. Well, hopefully you guys did enjoy this unboxing and hands-on. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe for more future videos. This is Paul Tech and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.